Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the first ever world premiere chili cook-off between Matt and Timmy. And in the blue corner, we have Matt, the camera guy, standing in a stagger, five foot, eight inches tall, weighing in at who knows, break a scale. And now, standing in the red corner, Timmy, aka the driver. He's standing at a staggering five foot nine inches tall and weight unknown. Let's get ready to rumble. Hey guys, it's Timmy. And that would be. Unfortunately, due to some unforeseen circumstances, we're not really together at this point in time. But hopefully, here really soon, we'll be able to back together, give you guys some killer content. Till then, thanks for hanging around. Keep watching whatever silliness that we post on our Facebook. Appreciate it, guys. So the question is, how will Matt's chili turn out? Hmm. I'm curious. Assume we don't have a shame that we don't have the whole um, smell of vision, huh? Yeah, it's getting there, man. But you know what? All that grease is gonna have to go someplace. Not in me. Tomatoes, tomato sauce. Yeah, yeah. We're going to throw some chili powder. Yeah, how about that for chili powder? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then we're going to throw a little crushed red pepper in there. So let's see, we got tomatoes, tomato sauce, Chili powder, going to throw a little red pepper. Okay, so you guys are seeing my chili being made. Hopefully it tastes as good as it looks. Usually it does. Here are the things I'm using today to make my chili. I have to say, that's a must have. Everything else, you can replace with something else. Not a big deal. All right, you two, you're cooking with Matt tonight. So I hope you enjoy this. It's not a how-to, it's just what I do. I have four cameras set up. I got this one, got this one, and I got that one. Not to mention this draining sink. Cool, all right? All right, so I already opened all the cans. I'm gonna set this pot on uh, low. Yep, on low. I've already opened all the cans. So the first thing I do is put all the beans, all the goodness inside, and throw away as we go. So every can. It's dumped in here. Sorry, I don't have a much smaller pot than this. Well, I do, but it ain't gonna fit. So, unfortunately, like Timmy said, we uh, can't be together right now for some issues going on. Uh, Y'all could probably figure that one out. So, I'm here cooking. Instead of going out to the restaurant, Better safe than sorry. A lot more sauce in it. Uh, uh oh, did this one not open? Oh, nope, it opened. That was good. Alrighty. Couple more items to throw in here while it's on low heat. Go ahead and start preheating my cast iron skillet. 
Sorry for all my cast iron skillet people. I didn't take very good care of this. So we get a little light, light dosing with some spray. Get, get that going. And yes, it's kind of weird to cook and to talk. Never had this many cameras. Well, they're not really all on me. But it's, it's kind of weird. I don't want Anyway, I know this video won't be posted until next week, but today would have been my grandpa's birthday if he was still alive. I know we all miss him dearly, and sadly, I don't even know if he liked chili. Good old tomato paste. It's always fun. I hate tomato paste, to be honest. Well, it's not the flavor of the tomato paste that I hate. It's just a pain in the butt to get out. So, kind of mix that around. And throw a dirty dish. take forever. So, you know, can only have such a long, so long of a YouTube video for you guys. And yes, before you all comment, I know somebody started a project, wasn't me, they didn't finish it. One day I'll get it done. Maybe. Then again. I am kind of lazy sometimes. And I really hate painting. And for those of you that don't know about cast iron skillets, <coughs> they add an extra layer of flavor. Uh, and quite honestly, this is loosely based on my mom's chili. I can't ever make it like she does. So I'd change it. That way I can't be like, ah, oh, it didn't taste like yours. Well, it's because now I'm not even trying to make it taste like yours. Put my own little spin. Quite honestly, the only difference is I got Stevie. Won't be too much longer before this is done. See if I can reach the light. Oh, look at that. Plenty of corn. Oh. Boom. Now I got more light. 
I can see what I'm doing here. Alright, while this is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and put my salt and pepper away because I'm done with that. And this is pot cam. I like my pot cam. <clears throat> I don't know how much video I'm actually going to use of that or my strainer. But I know I'll use a lot of this and a lot of that. So if this is somewhat entertaining for you guys, please feel free to say, hey, I want to see more of that. Hopefully I'm not steaming up GoPro too bad. I'm starting to think that's a bad placement. But as long as it doesn't fall in the chili, we'll be all right. All right, we're getting there with this stew beef. Let's go ahead and mix up our big pot here. The uh, the beef broth is just make it a little bit uh, soupy. I don't always use it, but I may here. Because with this much meat, it might be a little a little thick. And don't get me wrong, I like thick chili too. But some would say this is kind of like a uh, Texas chili. I really don't think so. Because I'm not in Texas, I don't know how they cook their chili. But, that's what I've been told. This is almost ready for the strain can. Who doesn't like a good strain can? Gotta test the pot, or the gas iron skillet handle, make sure it's not going to freaking burn me. Yes, I know it's kind of designed not to get too hot, but then again, it's cast iron, it's one piece steel, it's going to get hot. Alright, I don't know if y'all, I don't know if y'all can see that, but we are looking good. So I'll grab this, if I say a curse word, it's because I just burnt the crap out, so strange. Just yet. I'm gonna grab my stew beef. Doesn't that look delicious? I think so. I'm straining out a little bit. Yes, I know. I'm going to put grease down the uh, little faucet. But I usually let warm, warm water go inside. see that in there. Alright, so now I'm going to take a little bit more of my spray. Just a little bit more. Okay, a lot more. So I never know when enough is enough and when it's not enough. So right here I got two pounds of ground beef. Hopefully me ripping this open didn't make a whole lot of noise. I know that's not very adventurous of us today, but A, it's getting cold, B, really can't go anywhere. Well, maybe I can, maybe I can't, I don't know. I'll be honest, I gotta get tested. Uh, kinda sucks, but it is what it is. Not showing any signs of the cover on that. But it's one of those that's better be safe than sorry. And didn't find this out until yesterday. So, yeah, here we are. 
if y'all can see that on my stove camera. I really don't know how much I put on or anything. I just kind of put a bunch on it. I hope it tastes good. Love me some chili powder. I ain't gonna lie. And on the beans, I usually use hot chili beans. And then go from just try to get chili ready tomatoes. Today I try to get chili ready black beans, but they were sold out. You know why? It's chili making season. That's why. Alright, so now we're just got this ground beef, onions, and uh, chili powder in here. We're just gonna slowly cook this up. I really hope this comes out good. Not just the chili, but the video. So, yeah. And please, remember, I'm not wearing a Matt Timmy shirt today. Although we got plenty of them on uh, Teespring. Go check it out. Go ahead and buy them. That would help us out in the future. When it gets slummer, we can go different places. You know, maybe out from Colorado or Florida. Something that Em and I really wouldn't be able to afford to do. We'd like to bring good content to you guys. And I think the best way to do that is by selling shirts and, and all that kind of stuff. And do check us out on Facebook, Adventures with Matt and Denny on Facebook. Join us there. Every once in a while we'll post a random video. I got me one a while back of me making coffee. I probably put that on there. And yeah, I added way way too much French vanilla creamer but I was going for the video effect alright as Bob Ross says there is no accident just happy little ones so hopefully I accidentally come across something really good I'll tell you what, Timmy's right too bad we don't have smell of because this smells amazing well yeah, I mean, really got to the good part there Once again, I have no idea how this is coming out. Hopefully, me wiping off the lens every once in a while helps. Stir this up, call that. Get this man and me gonna be using this. Oh, that's some chili powder. More chili powder. Let me set it on the meat. Put it in the pot. Probably had some more onions here in a little bit. Okay, give that a good stir. Looking at this, I may not need to add any beef broth to it. Yes, I have this here staged for uh, dramatic framing, so to say. So, what you don't see here, you'll probably see on that or over here on the pot cam. This is overhead cooking camera. So we got my strainer, strain cam. And that's what I'm going to call it. Strain cam. By the way, cheese is optional with all chilies and crackers. I have crackers, but I may not put any crackers in. Cheese. I got some cheddar cheese. Timmy's a cheddar freak. Cheddar nut. What I failed to get was pepper jack cheese. Or habanero cheese. Or ghost pepper cheese. I like all that kind of stuff. I like me some spicy stuff. I make this ghost pepper nacho cheese. That's uh it will knock you back a little bit. I mean, it's not super hot. It's not as hot as a ghost pepper. Because you got the milk product cheese in there and all that. So, so the, it kind of chills it out. 
My boy accidentally put that on a burrito. I think he licked the spoon and realized it wasn't his nacho cheese. I pushed out his ear for that. That would have been funny. I would have laughed. I would have laughed real hard. Alright, we're, we're getting there with the ground beef. At this point, I like onions, so I want to add some more onions. I'll just go ahead and move that out of the way. And yeah, that's the other reason I had this there. But then again, I don't know too many people that don't have a mess on top of their refrigerators. I might have been a little too much onion in that. We'll find out though. Yeah, we will. Should be alright. Heck, with this much chili, just for the two of us, I don't think I have to cook for the rest of the week. Alright, we're getting there. Almost ready for the strain can. See the little, little chunks here and there that are still red. But perfectly honest. It won't kill you. Might give you the runs. So let me just go ahead and cook all of it. What do you say? I tell you what, I used to work at a little mom and pop grocery store. Had some of the best meat in the state. I miss that place. That was a fun place to work. But I used to work with one guy. He would literally pick ground beef out of the case and eat it. I can't do that. Learned a lot from there. They closed down the both main owners passed away sadly. Uh, and unfortunately the big box stores, Kroger, Walmart, Meyer, you know, all those big guys. They kind of push the little market out. Alright, looks like our ground beef is done here, so I will strain it here shortly. This is what I call a well-used oven mitt. Nothing like a seasoned oven mitt. You know what I mean? Alright. String cam, see if I can do a better job this time. Oh. Look at that. Watch out, look at that. Alright. Not gonna lie. It's very, very hot work for me to do. So I usually flip it this way. Good chili. Oh man, that's awesome. Alright, so now we got that all. Yeah. Doesn't really look like I'm gonna have to add. Yeah, this is getting thick. So I will add a little beef broth to it. Not a whole lot. Put that like that so you guys can see it a little bit better. Now a trick of beef broth. You just add a little bit and then a little bit. Uh-oh. That was... Nope. Not that beef broth. I don't ever remember opening it, but it 
it smells god awful. So, why don't we say strain can? Since we're here, we'll just go ahead and get the water going. Looks like I'm going to have a little bit of a thick chili, but man, does that smell good. All right, or a half hour into this, well, we're not, we're only 20 minutes into this, who am I kidding? But I'm going to grab the bowl. Scoop me out some. It's not quite dinner time, and to be honest, it's not quite warm enough yet. But I'm gonna test it. Taste it. Taste test. Alright. Got me a bowl. Scoot this out a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Alright. Go ahead and put that back on the low burner. Oh yeah, that's good. I thought possibly I put too much chili powder in. Nope, not at all. Now I'm gonna use stove cam here. Kind of show you guys what it looks like. That is magnifico. Now some people, I'm one of those some people, put noodles in their chili. But as you can see sometimes. I don't. Man. Y'all should know. Tomorrow's chili. Let it sit, that's gonna be even better. But yeah, I'll uh, eat the rest of this and wait for that to warm up, and then I'll have me some chili in there. Hope this was entertaining for you all. Now you know how this guy makes chili. So, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, please share with your friends. The more people we get to see it, the better the algorithm. I can't say that word, but you know what I'm trying to say. Does better on YouTube, and uh, the more subscribers we get, the better the, our channel will be. Go visit us on Facebook, where I will actually post my coffee video sometime this week, and then. As always, don't forget to go to our Teespring. We have a a pretty good shirt. It's Where's Timmy shirt. It's just like Where's, Where's Waldo, but yet you gotta look for Timmy. Go ahead and buy some. Because that's also gonna help get the word out of Matt and Timmy Adventures. Any word out is greatly appreciated. Share with your friends. Just, just keep sharing. Appreciate you those that are subscribed and that are following us on Facebook. Until next time, be safe.